Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Oops. <laughs> okay. Right. So the first card is the kangaroo, which says there are unsettled times and you need to plan ahead. So there's certainly something that you need to watch out for and uh, you know you need to make sure that you have plans in place there. You've got the haystack card there, which is karma, you will reap what you will sow, what you sow. So whatever has been going on, there is going to be divine justice that intervenes there. So if somebody's did, did uh, done something really nasty to you, it seems like they're gonna get their comeuppance. Um, but you must know that uh, fate is taking charge and the, the universe is going to sort things Things out for you. If there's anything unsettled, make sure that you're always uh, sorting things out in integrity. So don't, uh, uh, you know, lower your standards uh, because the universe has got your back there. Now you've got the scissors card over here, so disappointment in some affair. So it seems like you've cut ties with somebody there. You've made some kind of clean break. And maybe this is the reason why you're going through this unsettled plan, uh, unsettled times, and you do need to plan ahead. So if you've decided to end a relationship, uh, you know, it's time for you to make plans for the future and think about yourself first before you think about anybody else. If it wasn't serving you, it's good to have cut it out. Now you've got the pineapple card over here. There may have been some reconciliation that was uh, attempted here. So it seems like it, there may have been some dealings with a fair or gray haired person. Uh, you've tried to reconcile with this particular person. It doesn't seem to have worked out there. And maybe this is the reason why you've decided or you are deciding to cut ties with this person. They seem to have disappointed you and they seem to have created quite a lot of drama as well there. Now you've got the angel card over here, so you are being spiritually guided and protection from harm. So whatever is going on over here, you know, it, it seems like it was divine intervention that you ended this particular relationship and you are being guided uh, in your next steps as well. And the last card is triumph over troubles and obstacles. So you will come out of the situation a winner. So whatever is going on, you know, if you acted well, uh, the universe is, is protecting you. It's giving you guidance over there and it's going to give you success. You can see triumph over trouble. So whatever problems you're going through there, you will be able to sort through it. So those are the energies for that month. So I'm going to just draw some cards from the uh, Taramucha. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the star card, which is the card of Aquarius. You've got the Ten of Swords there, and you've got uh, the Queen of Swords as well, the Five of Swords. And this is the Knight of Rods. So something has happened or something, uh, you know, this is like a very aggressive energy uh, that you were dealing with. This could have been a fire sign person, so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy that you were dealing with. And they seem to have been, uh, you know, very, very aggressive. If it's not that, then whatever decisions have been coming, whatever problems have been coming, and they've been coming in very quickly. It's, you know, you've had to think on your feet and, you know, you've had had to act really by the seat of your pants um, you know there's been you can see there's a volcano in the back over there so there's been some kind of drama that has come in it's just uh, you know you've been blindsided by it whoever you've been dealing with has been quite a miserable person because you've got that five of swords a lot of conflict over there they seem to have uh, you know been really vindictive they may have even uh, caused you feel very um, humiliated uh, very they were very controlling they seem to have taken something from you uh, they were people that are one to get the last word in so um, you know you are feeling very very despondent and you are feeling very very defeated in this particular situation you have isolated yourself from everybody else you've got that queen of swords over here this could be a divorce situation or some kind of separation that you had to deal with but you know you are feeling extremely upset and very very miserable and you are keeping to yourself as well you're trying to speak your truth maybe nobody's actually listening to you at the moment so you have you know you're keeping yourself to yourself right now very lonely heartbroken situation there there seems to have been a lot of betrayal and a lot of nastiness that happened because you've got the five of swords the queen of swords over there as well as the Ten of Swords. So something really dramatic, something really nasty has happened, um, you know, and it's been about betrayal, being stabbed in the back, taken advantage of. Uh, but the star is coming in over here. So although you have gone through so much, um, you know, 
there's something that is some piece of information, some kind of uh, insight that comes to you that is going to give you hope and allow you to move into the future. So there is support coming in for you. You need to pay attention to your dreams here. There are messages coming in, spiritual guidance coming in for you to help you deal with this particular situation. Now, what's going on for you? You've got the moon over there and um, you've got this knight um, of swords as well. So you've got a lot of swords cards coming over here. So there's some kind of legal issue that you are sorting out with this knight of swords. This information is coming in pretty quickly. Some, some decision is being made. At the moment, you're pretty confused about what to do. You haven't a clue about how, what you should do. You're very confused, very depressed, and you're crying a lot as well. Everything seems to be a bit stuck. You know, you're ending this old situation, but you're almost in transition over here, and you're trying to make a decision as well. Uh, but, you know, nothing has... Uh, nothing is concrete at the moment and you're feeling quite alone, quite depressed over there. So you've got that Queen of Swords as well as, um, you know, this um, this Moon card and you can see in bo both the Queen of Swords as well as the Moon card, you know, she's sitting there very, very much alone and looking at the past a lot as well. So you're reviewing that past quite a bit um, and you're waiting for this legal news to come in, which will come in. So some kind of decision is going to be made as well. If it's not legal news that you're waiting for, um, then, uh, you know, you need to be able to speak your truth or you, there might be something that comes in, some kind of news that comes in that you will need to act on very, very quickly. It, it is something official and you need to make, make sure that you are uh, reading all the fine print of whatever the documentation is uh, and even getting advice if you need some kind of professional advice. But something is coming very, very quickly over there. You've got this uh, king of... Um, rather it's the queen of rods over here so this is about you trying to get your independence back uh, you know you're um you're looking um you know at um maybe this is how you were in the past because this is the car from the past you're working pretty hard you're in the in the limelight you're you know whatever position you hold in life is uh you know uh, something of authority you know you are looking out for a lot of people so the professional side you might be doing a lot of travel as well with this queen of rods um, but on the professional side, people find you very attractive, you know, they want to work with you, you're a very, very committed person, but there seems to have been this drama in the background of your life. So on the work front, it seems like, you know, things are reasonably settled, but in the on the emotional front, there seems to be some sort of drama going on over there. You are working pretty well, um, you know, you are earning pretty well, uh, but it seems like in the background, there's this uh, emotional drama that's going on over here. It's left you f feeling very, very confused. You have to make some kind of decision. Uh, you're not quite sure about what it is. And maybe you haven't been, you know, you don't want to see the truth as well into the situation. You want to make a bright, uh, fresh start over there. Whatever comes in over here, uh, you need to act on whatever legal uh, matters that come in. And you have to be very, very unemotional. It's a very difficult thing to do uh, when you're emotionally, have been emotionally invested in the situation. But it seems like somebody completely... Um, you know, betrayed you there and um, it's now up to the court. So you're waiting for a decision and, uh, you know, you are protecting yourself as well. It seems like you've isolated yourself as well. You're not allowing anybody to come very close. Uh, news is coming in over there. You've got birds coming in in the background over there. But whatever decision you need to make, you need to make it from a very uh, logical point of view. You've got this uh, Queen of Cups here. So you are feeling very isolated, very alone, and you're crying quite a bit as well with this Queen of Cups. This is being feeling a bit emotionally overwhelmed, uh, wanting to make a fresh start, but being very, very upset about what has happened. Now going to the future, Nine of Swords, being very, very tense, very, very uh, stressed out, not sleeping well at night, and looking at all the battles that you fought as well. So you're doing almost like a review about what is going on. Um, you know, you haven't been able to speak your truth as well, or some kind of legal decision has not been made, and this in itself is stressing you out, but you, um, you know, you are not sleeping well, um, you know, you're overstressed, and this could be having a knock-on effect on your health. Now, what's going on with you? You've got the Ace of Pentacles here. So there's a new situation coming in for you here. So there's a new job, a new pathway is opening up over here. You can see this door opening up. So where everything seemed to be blocked, now things are going to start opening up. There's a new opportunity uh, to get new finances. So this could be a promotion or this could be a new job that is coming in for you. You're still very confused here with the Seven of Cups. You don't really know what to do. It's a, it's a card about having a lot of choice in your mind but not knowing which pathway to choose. So, uh, you know, procrastinating a little bit as well because you are 
unsure about what is going to be the best avenue for you to follow. You want victory and success. You want stability over there. Uh, this is the Four of Rods. So you want doorways to open. And it is going to be opening up for you because you've got that Ace of Pentacles and you've got that doorway opening over here. So there's a new idea for you to make mo more money or for you to change your career path. And it's, it's you know, you'll have to think about it because you you have to make a choice because you are procrastinating a little bit here with this uh, seven of cups there. So going to the future and the final outcome, there is a legal decision that comes in for you there. So whatever you've been waiting for here, uh, you know, that you're stressing out about and you're waiting for that legal news, a decision will be made and it's going to bring about a great transformation for you. You're still feeling very, very frustrated. Um, you know, this is a card about whatever situation it is, you've got to take this legal decision and get out of the situation. Situation. You're feeling very tied up, very restricted, um, and you know you are very frustrated as well uh, in whatever is going on there. You feel like something, some information is not come to light yet. You got the King of Pentacles, so whatever that decision is, it looks like money is going to be coming in with it. So there is going to be a good financial outcome for it. If this is about a work situation and you were involved in, you know, whatever happened at work stressed you out and caused a lot of problems then, uh, you know, you are going to be finding a new job. This is a good job. Whatever this door opens up gives you a lot of money, you can see. And it's a position of authority as well. So if you're going through uh, personal issues or, uh, you know, emotional issues and you're going through a divorce or some kind of separation, that gets sorted and money comes in with that. But if this was about an old job that you're leaving behind, um, you know, everything gets sorted out um, and you are going to start afresh in a new position over there that earns you quite a bit of money with that king of pentacles so this new opportunity is definitely going to bring in new money and a lot of it as well so financially you know things are going to get sorted out so you needn't be this stressed where you're not sleeping at night or you're not even looking after your health if there's some decision that you have to make here you you need to uh, don't not to, you need um to act on it don't procrastinate <coughs> This Knight of Swords might be legal news, but then again, it might even be a new contract that comes in for you to be signing. So I'm going to draw some cards from the Angel Tarot. There's a Seven of Water again coming there. Uh, so a complex decision, a need to do research and stop procrastinating. So there is choice coming in there. You haven't made up your mind and you do need to do your research uh, in order for you to proceed. Whatever it is, this decision is, you need to uh, find out exactly what's going on before you make a decision. You've got the two of fire over here, so you've come into your own. New partnerships or contracts continue to move forward. There's a new contract coming in for you over there. This could even be in the form of a partnership or getting together with somebody. There's a decision. You're at a crossroads with this card here, so you have to make up your mind whether you want to stay in the situation or you want to leave and go forth. Uh, you might have a lot of travel that comes in as well with this two of a fire so it's also a card of planning planning what you want what your next move is going to be so you need to be very strategic as well you've got the eight of air over here the illusion of being trapped um a lack of self-confidence and you've got the eight of um Eight of Swords and the Eight of Air is the same thing. So something is still keeping you stuck in this position. And it might be, you know, what you're thinking rather than what it is that, it, you know, what it, what reality is rather. You need to run away from that crowd because, you know, it seems like everybody's turned against you almost in this particular situation and you need to break free from it. Um, so although, um, you know, um, it's going to be a big decision because, you know, you're, you're really second guessing yourself you need to have confidence in whatever you do whenever whatever you leave whatever situation you leave and walk away from it's going to be successful because you've got that um king of pentacles as well as that ace of pentacles the two of fire is making that decision and just going knowing that whatever comes your way is going to be a success so really you need to take that plunge and start uh you know moving uh, as opposed to sitting and waiting for things to happen and stop stressing about things as well. So I do hope that this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.